Hi, I'm Paul Seal from Codeshare.co.uk. Today I want to talk to you about a NuGet package that I've made. It's also a GitHub repository and it's called Slack Bot Messages. And what it allows you to do is to send messages to Slack as if you were a bot. And uh, those sort of messages, perhaps you've got a contact form on a website and you want to send a message through to a Slack channel. Well, this allows you to do that, and it works in a similar way to email, like if you want to send an email in .NET. So first of all, I'll just show you the GitHub repo. So it's github.com slash prjseal slash slackbot messages. Um, and this is how you would use it. So you would you would get the NuGet package, and then this all the code that you'd need is to use the NuGet package and then you would do the client with the address of your URL for your webhook. So you're going to set up a webhook URL for your Slack channel. You put your message in that you want to send, and then you just call the send method. And that's it. So that's what we're going to do. Um, it should be straightforward, pretty easy. I'm just going to do it in the context of a console application to start with, so that you don't need a full... Um, website setup or anything like that you can't i'm just going to show you how you can call it through a console application and then after that maybe you can then take it onto a website um, so let's just have a look at this then so i've got a nuget it's called slackbot messages and i've got a nuget um, package for it so if you want to install this package in visual studio what you can do is you can do so you've probably already got a project set up, so you can include it that way. But for this, for the purpose of this demo, we're going to just set up a new uh, project, and it's going to be a console application, .NET Framework, and it's going to be called, uh, let's just make sure I've got it in the right place. So I'm going to put it, So in projects, create a directory for the solution. And I'm going to call this um, test, uh, Slack messaging. So again, console application. It's targeting .NET Framework 4.5.2 by default. Uh, so let's click on OK. So with that, we've got a standard console application set up for us. Now, um, I'm just going to make it really simple. So first of all, I'm just going to install the package. So if we go to the NuGet page, and we just copy this install, and we put this into here. So I clicked on Package Manager Console. You can find that by going Tools, NuGet Package Manager, and then Package Manager Console. Just paste that in there, hit Enter. And that will get the package for you from NuGet and it's now installed and ready to be used. Then what we can do, we can go back to the GitHub page and on the README it tells you how to use it. So we're just going to do using Slackbot messages. So let's just paste this in here and I'll move the using statement out. So if that was a valid URL, this would be ready to run. Um, so we could actually run that straight away if this was valid. So to get this, if you've got a Slack channel that you're a member of, um, you might need permissions to actually set up the new webhook. But what we can do is if you click on this link here in my README, and then this will say incoming webhooks, so my channel I want to do in general, add incoming webhooks integration. So I've picked my team, that's my code share team. I've got my channel and then I'll just do add incoming webhooks integration. So I will be hiding this from you. Actually, I'll just delete it after because um, that way you're abusing me on uh, Slack. So I've got the webhook URL and then I just need to Paste that in here. So now, whenever this application runs, it's going to uh, send a message. So the message, so I've got hello world. I want it to, so parameters are, so 
So let's have a look at this. We've got um, so the text. Let's do it like this. It's a bit clearer. So the text is hello world. The channel is to general and the username is cochair.co.uk and the symbol that I want to use so the icon emoji is poop so let's save that build control s uh, control shift and b to do build and then if we just run this all i have to do because as soon as it goes into main it will run it straight away so start hit that and straight away I've got a slack message so if I go into there there we can see on slack I got the message I've got a notification uh, in the bottom right hand corner but it was probably hidden by my head um, so it was somewhere around here um, <laughs> so yeah there we go hello world so we can uh, change what the icon looks like so if we say smile there we go so if we want a different icon we can put that in there. If we want a different username, so this could be contact form or yeah. And then the channel we, we want it to go to, let's just have a look what channels I have. So I could send it to a different channel. I might just leave it at general, but the idea is you just put the name of the channel that you want it to go to, and that goes off to the, the right channel. And then the message. So this could come from, so if you imagine you had a contact form, this could be the message from the contact form um, that you pass through on the submit. But this is more about showing you about the package rather than how to, to do that on a website. Um, we're not really going to gain too much from that in this. So this is a test message and let's be uh, we'll do date time dot now dot to string just so you can see that it's well, I, don't, I, I don't think you doubt me anyway. Oh, let's just do to short string, short date string, and let's build that and let's see it happen. So if we hit run, go to the website, contact form, this is a test message. So it's pretty good actually. So you could have this set up for all sorts of things. Maybe in your application, you might want it to trigger when there's an error. Um, so that could be fired. Remember, it's just firing code at the moment. It's just C-sharp code. So this could be fired when the, an error happens. Uh, instead of logging it, or as well as logging it, you could send a message to a Slack channel. Um, you could do it for like a contact form. You could do it for all sorts of things. And it's quite powerful, really, because I've done it for my sister's hairdresser's salon. And when someone goes on the contact form and they say they want to do a booking, um, it sends a notification out to everyone on their mobile. So to get a real notification on the mobile, because they've got the Slack app installed, that's all they need to have. They get the notification, they see someone's contacted them. Whoever's in the salon at the time can check the book to see if they're available and things like that, because they're still paper-based. Uh, so it's really useful for that. So anyway, I just thought I'd show you it and um, just point it out really. and. I think it's doing okay on GitHub. I think I've got some stars for it. Um, it's not a massive library, and what's it got on NuGet? It's got 90 downloads, so I'll be interested to see if this video has any effect on the number of downloads. It doesn't really bother me if you download it or not. I'm, I'm still using it for my projects, uh, but I just thought I'd uh, show that to you and let you see that you can just use it. just works out of the box, it's straightforward. Uh, if you've got any questions about it, please put it in the comments. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, share it with others. And I uh, hope you find this a useful package. 
and uh, I look forward to doing some more videos for you. All right, thanks.